This is now based on the failure in the uh, or the downturn in the American housing market. Little innocent countries like Iceland, who have done no wrong to anybody, are suffering terribly because the banking system of the world has supported this bubble and now is, is having to pay for it every, everywhere, every part of the world. There's one other thing. You could easily, in legislation, establish a principle of some kind of ratio between the richest return and the poorest in any business. So if a, if a worker in an industry is getting, I don't know, uh, uh, shall we say 30000 a year, you establish a limit, maybe 20 times that, which would be the maximum that anybody in that industry can make. And this, is, this has been kicked around for some years as a solution to the problem of disparity of income. But uh, I'm not sure that our two parties that are so heavily subsidized by the wealthy are going to put that into legislation, but they should. So just say 20, 20 times as much as the basic pay is the most that anybody can make in any industry. Is that not reasonable? It seems reasonable to guys like you and me, but to the global elite, that's a... Uh... That's going to cut into their profit margin quite a bit. Yeah, it scares them, exactly. <laughs> and uh, that's, what, that's what we learned in the bailout last fall, is uh, how vigorously they fought to maintain their bonuses and maintain their dividends, even though they're lucky not to be in jail, some of those people. And uh, some of them actually still, not just Madoff, and a number of other people. I think they're super lucky. It's the Alex Jones Show. We'll be back with Peter Dale Scott, Infowars.com. Gentlemen, I know you need no reminder that Valentine's Day is right around the corner. Obviously, you have the perfect gift in mind. Well, just in case you might <clears throat> know someone that may need some gift ideas, tell them about EnduringRose.com. We all know that flowers are a woman's favorite gift, but they only last a short time. EnduringRose.com has taken this gift and made it into one that will endure and last forever. Dipped in 24 karat gold, these real roses, single rose, or bouquets preserve your message of love for a lifetime. You can also shop for other ridiculously romantic gifts like jewelry and adorable stuffed animals. You can't go wrong at EnduringRose.com. Oh, and tell them there's a military discount and they can get free shipping on qualified orders. That website again is EnduringRose.com. E-N-D-U-R-I-N-G rose.com or call 702-453-7455. That's 702-453-7455. A day unlike any other in the long course of American history, a terrorist act of war against this country. The enemy struck America on September 11th. But who is the enemy? Bin Laden. This is his M.O. We have to look to the Middle East. We have to look to Osama bin Laden. Fabled Enemies is the first 9-11 film to take a close look at the terrorist ties to intelligence networks inside the United States. Some U.S. investigators believe that there are Israelis again very much engaged in spying in and on the U.S. I'm aware that uh, some Israeli citizens have been detained. Bin Laden's connections to the CIA, the hijacker's ties to the FBI, the Saudi Arabian connection, the Israeli intelligence network, warnings and war games, the shadow government, and much, much more. Fabled enemies. Get the DVD at InfoWars.com or see it in super high quality, along with hundreds of other titles at PrisonPlanet.tv. Either you are with us or you are with the terrorists. Jim Newcomer from Midas Resources, January 16th, 2009. Gold opened this morning at 832.90. A one ounce gold coin can be purchased for 857.72, 428.86 for the half ounce, and 214.43 for a quarter ounce. That's 857.72, 428.86, and 214.43. On June 4, 1963, an unknown presidential decree, Executive Order 11,110, was signed with the authority to strip the Federal Reserve Bank of its power to lend money to the United States government and interest. With the stroke of a pen, Kennedy would have put the Fed out of business. The November assassination quieted the production of the new currency. However, the executive order still stands unrepealed. Midas has the Kennedy versus Fed document. Call 800-686-2237. Unlike your liberty, the paper is free. Call 800-686-2237. If you're interested in breaking the bondage of taxation and debt, call 800-686-2237. That's 800-686-2237. 
heart disease is on the rise. Clogged arteries, high blood pressure, and high cholesterol levels may not be fully detected by you, but the symptoms are there. Loss of energy, blood sugar spikes and drops, poor circulation, and irregular heartbeat are just a few of these that can alert you that something is wrong. Hear how heart and body extract is making a difference in thousands of people's lives across America. My blood pressure has normalized. My diabetes has totally improved. Everyone is telling me now how much healthier I look, and I'm telling everyone how much healthier I feel. I recommend heart and body extract to everyone. Anybody over 40 in the North American continent should be using this product as a preventative to keep their cardiovascular system healthy. Order your two-month supply today by calling 866-295-5305. That's 866-295-5305. Or order online, hbextract.com. Heart and body extract, 866-295-5305. Or hbextract.com. All right, folks, we are back. It's the Alex Jones Show. I am Jason Burmis. I've been sitting in all week. I'm a filmmaker. Put together Loose Change, Final Cut, and, of course, Fabled Enemies. You can get both of those as, as well as all of Alex Jones' titles over at Infowars.com. And uh, we're talking bailout with Peter Dale Scott. We're also talking the Federal Reserve, and I want to remind people that the Federal Reserve is an independent organization. I mean, you can watch Alan Greenspan on PBS actually tout that, oh, we're independent of the federal government, and actually we have no oversight, and uh, we're really above the president in many respects. And if you see how the Federal Reserve uh, works, the board, and correct me if I'm wrong, Peter, but I believe that the, your, you vote for your um, you're a constituent, you vote for your uh, congressmen, your senators, and things like that, but those people are the ones who actually decide who's going to be on the board of the Federal Reserve, and they serve, I want to say, what is it, 13, well, no, it's 13 members, and what do they serve, eight-year terms? Yes, it's, uh, it's uh, a, a, a considered way of preventing people, people just printing money. The idea of it mm -hmm. is, and by the way, you do get something like this in, uh, in England and in France, uh, because uh, they're frightened of democracy uh, cheapening money. Uh, because obviously you think I I don't know what the right solution here is I I'm not as frightened I, my real fear is not the particular individuals who are in the Federal Reserve my fear is of the influence of the wealthy in this country which uh, works through the Fed it works through the Treasury Department it works very much through the CIA. And that's actually been my specialty over these years. You know, at the beginning, the, the CIA was sort of planned on Wall Street, and all the first directors, or practically all the first directors and deputy directors, were taken en masse from Wall Street firm, uh, law firms and Wall Street investment companies. Uh, and that bias uh, in terms of preserving wealth has affected our foreign policy since the war, it, it wasn't totally uh, evil at the beginning, but it, it, ever, ever since America started having to tighten its belt, which is roughly at the end of the Vietnam War, it's been done in such a way as to uh, protect the rich and let somebody else pay. And what we've seen from this is uh, declining income in the third world, which, uh, of course, leads to increased violence in the third world. And declining income, real real income, not just what the numbers on a paycheck, but real income has been declining for the working class in this country and increasingly now for the middle class as well. And that's why I say, uh, you know, you've had this, this bubble, this financial bubble that has been, in a sense, extracting wealth out of the body politic depositing it in the bank accounts of the rich, and now the, the bailouts are still, in a sense, trying to preserve that particular relationship, which uh, we, we've got to talk about martial law and war in this program, but I really am, of course, very wound up about this influence of wealth. Yeah, that's exactly what I wanted to move into, um, you know, martial law, the financial bailout, and more. Where does martial law fit into all this? Not only were they threatened with martial law, but we have an Obama administration that says that they're going to redistribute troops into Afghanistan. Obviously, there's tensions not only in Gaza and Israel, but Pakistan is now more and more, you know, showing up on the media as the enemy. I mean, 
Is, is Mark?